Hello and welcome to Let's Fix Computers. We've got a 2013 MacBook Pro Retina here that is not starting up. We are getting a uh, question mark folder, which means no boot device found. Um, so this laptop has a history of overheating. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug in my, um, my Sierra flash drive in a moment and see if it'll boot from that. But first I'm just going to uh, take the bottom cover off and do a visual inspection on the inside just to make sure that there's nothing horrifying there. Um, because uh, the customer says that, yeah, apparently he's been in a very hot country and was left on uh, very sunny windowsills, etc., etc. So I want to make sure that there's nothing horrifying under the cover that I should be aware of before I try and actually get this thing to start. So we're missing most of the screws from this, so it's had a bit of a it's had a bit of a long stretch with no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, what on earth has happened in here? Holy moly. This, uh. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery from that. And we'll just have a closer look at what exactly we're seeing here because I don't quite understand what I'm seeing. All right, let's go for a quick wander around this catastrophe of a logic board. Firstly, we've got the PCH, I think this is, um, that the plastic around here is all bubbled up. This is just a sort of uh, plastic shim, as it were. Uh, so that's looking pretty sorry for itself. And we push back here uh, to the CPU and the graphics chip. Now, first of all, we've got uh, this um, this plastic back here. This isn't, it looks like it's, it looks like it's li got liquid on it, but this is the plastic that's all bubbled up. So that's obviously seen some really high temperatures. But I mean, look at this heat pipe. Um, this heat pipe is all lumpy and bumpy. It's almost like out of shape. And um, we're missing two screws. The actual, um, the actual mounts have popped off of the logic board there um, for, where, for the hold down on this CPU cooler. Um, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, but the whole thing and like, Look at the um, uh, look at CPU V core along the back here, um, or well, part of V core anyway. These I think these are decoupling capacitors. I'd have to check the schematic, but they're all wonky and out of and out of position. So those have obviously seen some serious heat. So something crazy has been going on in this laptop. Uh, I mean, the customer said overheating, but there's overheating, and then there's what the fresh hell. So. Um, it turned on though, which is the crazy thing. I also noticed we've got a warranty sticker on this um, uh, on this cooling fan. So this cooling fan has been replaced at some point in the laptop's lifetime. So I'm not the first person to be poking around this laptop. So that also does suggest this may not be. This might be from someone else tampering around, not me. Um, that's come off as well. You can see that that mount is not affixed to the board. Um, neither is that one. Good grief. Um, okay. I don't know what to make of that. Uh, what we're going to do though, we're going to take this CPU cooler off and just see what state the chips are in. Um, yeah, uh, let's take that off and have a look. What happened to this? We've got an excessive amount of thermal paste on everything, like a hilarious amount of thermal paste. And as you can see, this, this the copper plate has come off of the heat pipe and everything is covered in thermal paste. There's bits of old thermal paste all over this thing. Who did this to you? Good grief. Let's just pick off all of the mounts that are coming off with this thing. Man, what are we going to do about this? Well, it still works, which is a miracle. We're going to need a new heat pipe here. So that's this has got to be replaced. Um, so we'll get that changed out. I think we can I think we can probably glue um, these mounts back down 
to the logic board, we, I think we can just super glue these in place, which isn't elegant, but it saves the logic board. Um, I mean, we don't need a huge amount of force holding all of this on. Uh, I mean, those have broke, those are probably broken off from someone using an excessive amount of force to tighten the screws. Friendly reminder, no, no screw in a laptop bar something structural like a hinge screw needs to be done up tightly. And even still, you know, uh, well, yeah, someone has used excessive amounts of force on this thing. Um, and I, I can't even fathom where all this heat damage has come from. Who knows what's that, what that is all about. So um, since it turned on, it looks like this is all salvageable, but this cooling system all needs to be rebuilt. Then we need to address what's going on with the no boot device detected. Um, the problem is we kind of need to deal, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get some temporary cooling on to find out whether there is an issue with the SSD or not. What I might do is just clean all of this up um, and just make good on the cooling system uh, just so I can start it up and determine if there is a fault with the SSD and stuff or not. I mean, if it's just this cooling system, then, you know, we can look at that. But obviously, if it's not detecting the SSD and we've got other stuff that needs to be dealt with as well, then, you know, this whole thing is going to turn into a bit of a rabbit hole. So um, I'm going to grab some tissue and we're just going to clean this up and just make good so we can actually address what works and what doesn't work. So I've cleaned up the uh, cleaned up the heatsink. I've tried to see if I can solder this plate back onto the heat pipe, but that heat pipe is just it just well it heat soaks away anything I put on it. Uh, I was hoping that with my uh, with my soldering iron turned up to an obnoxious level, um, I would be able to just spot weld that on, but I just cannot get enough heat into it to make good contact. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to place, put this in place. I'm going to put in as many screws as I can and just hope that that will hold it in place well enough for me to test the laptop. So let's just see how well that goes. Basically, I just need to fire it all up and see if it can detect its SSD. Uh, if it can find its SSD, um, then, uh, then I'm happy. Um, so yeah, we're not going to get very good contact between the heat sink and the heat pipe there. Well, I call it a heat sink, it's just a plate of copper, but um, unless the CPU is under high load, uh, we're not going to get massive heat out of here. So we should be okay for short bursts, just to check if there's anything else broken on this thing. Because right now, I could be spending a lot of time dicking about with this when it's a, when it's a no fix anyway, so. Right, we've got some heat on that CPU. It's impossible to tell if it's getting enough cooling at the moment, but. I'm just pressing the, uh, the, the heat pipe down on the back of it, just to give that a little bit of help. Come on, we only need this to work for a little bit. I just need to know if that SSD is okay or not. Uh, the fans are coming down a little bit now, so I think my pressing on the heat pipe is working. Okay, use English. Right, disk utility. Continue. No, the SSD is not recognized. Okay, so we've got to find out if that SSD works or not. So let's shut this down. Okay, so let's test this SSD and find out if it works or not. So the problem with Apple SSDs is they look like M2 cards, but it's not. This is a proprietary connector, and Apple have a nasty habit of changing it every couple of years, so there's a couple of variations of it as well. So I've got several of these ropey looking adapters that you can get on the cheap from places like eBay. This is the 2012 and 2013 version. 
So uh, let's plug that in. And then we're gonna use a serial ATA to USB adapter so I can plug it directly into my laptop here. So let's plug that in and let's see if we get anything at all. Okay, I've got a light on my adapter, so we've got power to the drive. And let's just bring up disk utility. All right. And there is nothing in disk utility except my laptop's built-in SSD. So the SSD is not being detected. This fella is dead uh, because I know for a fact that this thing works. So, um, so yeah, okay, we need new SSD then. Um, so let's unplug that. We're gonna need a new SSD, a new heatsink, and then I think we should be able to build a working MacBook out of that wreck that we've got under the counter. So I'll see you guys after the cut. Okay, right, what can we do about these missing studs for the heatsink screws? I'm just gonna have a quick poke at this one and just see how we can reattach it. So firstly, I'm just gonna have a bit of a scrape and just see if there's some copper under that. We've definitely got metal there because what I'm thinking is we might just be able to solder it back on, which will give us a fairly decent, um, strong connection, I think. I've gotta be really careful not to go too deep because I don't wanna damage any traces that are underneath here. Um, I mean, I'm not seeing any, not seeing any orange copper but I have just roughed up this surface a little bit, which means I can probably solder straight onto that. So that's all right. Let's grab one of the studs that have come off and I'm just gonna quickly scrape up the bottom of that as well. Yeah, so far so good. Okay, right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna get some heat going. Now we're going to get the soldering iron up to temperature as well. And we're going to put a little bit of solder on that. Just see if that takes. And a little bit of flux. Oh man, I need to turn this all around. That pin is right in the way. Right, the board is just soaking up the heat from my soldering iron at the moment. but I'm just spreading that solder around. Man, we need some more heat. There we go, so we've got that fella tinned up now. All right. Okay, here comes attempt one. All right, so here comes the heat. we go. I think that's enough. I think that'll do. So let's rinse and repeat for the other points and I think we'll have this thing in a fixed condition. See if those line up. Oh yeah, that's good enough. The holes here have got plenty of margin for error. All right, next one.
Okay, right, the heat sink is coming back out again. We have a new one. So, fresh import from America. We've got a nice replacement heat sink here. This one is a used one. However, as you can see, it's in mint condition compared to this one. We'll take a closer look at that in a minute. $345, $21.13 shipping. This is why I hate importing stuff. However, could not find it in the UK for love nor money, so there it is. Right, where's my T5 gone? We need that. So we can take this one out now, throw it in the bin, we'll have a new one going on, and I've also got a new SSD to drop into this, and then we can just go ahead and reinstall MacOS on it. So there's the comparison. You can clearly see how beaten up this one is on the on the left here. No idea what's happened to it. It's just that weird sort of bubbling effect on it is really confusing. I mean, I don't know if it's just been running at obnoxiously high heat or what, but yeah, this is what it should look like. So, yeah. goes our new SSD. All right, we can close this up now. All right, let's just make sure this starts up. The SSD I've purchased apparently has MacOS on it already, although I'll reformat it again just because you can never trust what someone else has put on a device. All right, we have a chime, but no display output. That was just long enough for me to think it wasn't gonna work. Beautiful. One fixed laptop. So we'll give this a clean and then we'll run Apple service diagnostics on it just to make sure that everything's happy, all the sensors are working, and then we will be finished. Right, do I have ASD for this thing on my ASD drive? Uh, 3S155, I believe. Start. All right, let's just go ahead and run all the tests, except the battery tests. I'm not bothered about the battery. Uh, yeah, cool. All right, there it is, we're done. So we'll go ahead and plug in a flash drive, reinstall MacOS on this, and that will go back to the customer. Thank you very much for watching everyone. I will see you all next time. Goodbye for now.